Hi, this is PDF Bergsberg Arcade at bergsbergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 243 Part U. Now, in this one here, I wanted to go over the custom GUI skin we're actually using uh, in our actual game for our inventory system and items. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and load up the project that we're currently working on. So, instead of actually recreating this, because I don't really remember what all the names are, and I'm going to have to load this up to look anyway, I figured I'll just lo load it up and let you see exactly what the names are. So, let me see, it was called My Skin. Here we go. And of course, if you want to create one of these, uh, actually, let me clear this. If you want to create one, you just right click, you know, create, and it's called a skin. GUI skin, way down at the bottom here. And you can call it whatever you want. I just happen to call this my skin. And down at the bottom here, you'll notice you have a uh, custom skin. So let's actually create a new one. Uh, create GUI skin and I'm just going to leave it as GUI skin. Uh, if you come down to the customs, uh, you'll notice it starts off with one extra element. You can add as many as you want. So if we add nine, you'll get nine extra elements. And, and but just, these are the ones we're actually going to be working with. So let's go ahead and actually get rid of this. And let's take a look at the custom styles that I made. Now I've made nine of them and some of them I haven't implemented yet. Uh, some I have and stopped using, and I might come back later to use again. But these are the nine that I have at least used so far. Uh, we have the inventory slot common, and I'll eventually have uh, one for, you know, uncommon, rare, whatever the number of rarity for you, you have for your items. I'm going to have a new one. And if we open it up, we'll take a look here. It's just simply a texture. And I have three different ones to designate the normal state, so the state when it's you know just being displayed on the screen, uh, the hover state when you're hovering over something, and the active state when you're actually you know clicking on it. And let me just start the game up and quickly show you how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, this chest here, and I'll just grab the items from it, and I'm just gonna grab them all. And this also works. I'm also using this uh, inventory slot common style uh, for my inventory loot window as well and as you can see when you hover over it I just have uh, I'm switching down to my second one here and that's all I'm doing now some of these you might actually have to play around with in position to get uh, get it to look the way you want uh, unity has a really good write-up for it on their website um, they got like a whole page just telling you exactly how to make custom styles and it goes over all the different properties of each one uh, so go ahead and take a look at that because I really don't have time to go through every single property here in the um, GUI skin. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab all these. And of course when I click on it you'll notice again I get another background. And I'll just grab the items from the last chest. Uh, there's one thing you might want to notice here is I also customize the close window. Or the little X button here which is what I'm using to close the window. So it's regular state, it's just gray. Uh, let me see, we'll go down. Oops. Uh, right here, close button window. So by default, it's the gray one. When I hover over it, it turns yellow. And I do not have an active one. I could take the exact same texture, you know, throw a red shader on it or a red tint on it and use it for its close. But uh, it's completely up to you. And let me just close that down. Now I have one for the loop window, which I used to use. I'm not liking the way it looks, so I, I've taken it back out. Uh, when I get around to making a new um, image that I want to use for my loot window, but at least for the background, I'll probably reinstate this one. So we also have uh, the health bar, stamina bar, and mana bar. Now these I didn't actually, I haven't used yet, simply because I just don't have the um, the assets made for them. Or I might actually have made the assets and tried them out. When we were switching over to the UI toolkit, I pretty much put a hold on all my GUI stuff uh, using the system that we're currently using because I wanted to check it out. And now that I've come back to this and I know that Unity is coming out with their own version this year, uh, I'll probably just stick with the system here until it's ready because to be quite honest, I'm probably really not going to be ready to ship to the fall anyway. And that's what Unity have its new system in. So that'll give me lots of time to actually get everything set up, figure out exactly the way I want it to look, um, get my assets in place that I want the, for, for the look and feel of the game. And then when Unity comes out with theirs, uh, take a look to see if I really like their system or if I'm going to like UI toolkit better and decide which one I'm going to use then. But anyway, anyway we also have the empty uh, slot, which I don't have a hover on because you don't really want your empty slots to 
have an effect when you hover over them. So I've just got this like little empty slot image for it. And the player panels, which I am currently not using. I believe I had them working at one point. Uh, if we just hit C to bring up the character panel. Yeah, I'm not using them. Here's another empty pack slot, but I'm not actually using them yet. But anyway, I think that's pretty much it for the actual names of them. Now, the only script that I recall that we're actually using these in is a script called MyGUI. And if we actually look up here, I've taken an empty game object. I don't mind the stuff underneath it because I've got it disabled anyway. It was just uh, me testing with our player and mob health bars. And we're going to be revisiting that anyway, so I'm not going to spend too much time. But as you can see, it just throws our health bar up. But like I said, we are going to be redoing that, so I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, so here's our empty game object that we're going to put in. It's, I just called it GUI. Uh, you call it whatever you want. I've called it GUI just so it's descriptive enough that when I look at it, I know what it is. I've attached my skin, and it's going to ask you for a skin. So you just take my skin, drag it up, and then I've gone ahead since other people are going to name... Uh, their empty inventory slot style, you know, something different uh, than me. Go ahead and type in the name of whatever it is you called it um, in your in your script. And of course, the close button. So, so it looks like these are the only ones I'm using right now. So make sure to put the name in for the ones that you're using in your skin. And if you're using uh, the same naming names that I am, just go ahead and enter the same names. And I have exposed uh, a few properties here for the loot window height, the button width and height. Uh, the button width and height is actually the icon size of the things in our inventory right here. So bad naming, I should really rename these as it's an inventory slot width and height. Um, and then this is the close button, which is the close button we're seeing right here. And of course, later on, I would also like to implement that in up here as well. So we can put one up here so you don't always have to keep toggling the I key. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the script real quick. So I'm going to head into Mono Develop. Uh, actually, I'm going to stop this. Then head into Mono Develop. And right here is where we're setting the public variable to get the GUI skin. And right there is where we're actually grabbing the uh, the names that will allow the user to enter the names for the uh, the strings for the slots that we want to use. And of course, feel free to go through. Uh, we'll probably, since we're going to be using this system until Unity comes out with their other system, uh, we're probably going to be going through here and doing um, quite a bit of revamping. This is a, I want to go on to break this up into a more of a component based, so it's not just everything all tied together. Uh, but that will be uh when we come through and start uh basically cleaning code up so it's a little bit closer to the end but anyway feel free to dig through here and um i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye